Welcome to our journey back in time, exploring the fascinating creatures that roamed the Earth long before the dinosaurs. Life on Earth has existed for an astonishing amount of time, and for much of it, the planet looked remarkably different than it does today. The continents were in different places, the atmosphere was different, and the creatures that inhabited this ancient world were stranger and more wonderful than anything we can imagine. Our journey begins in a time period known as the Edia Karan, over 550 million years ago. Here we find evidence of some of the first multicellular organisms, creatures like Dickinsonia. Picture a world with no plants, no animals walking on land, just vast, shallow seas. And floating in these seas we find Dickinsonia, a flat, oval-shaped creature, almost like a large living pancake. It's thought that Dickinsonia might have absorbed nutrients directly from the seawater or perhaps grazed on microbial mats on the sea floor. Whatever its lifestyle, Dickinsonia is a fascinating example of early life on Earth, a creature so simple in form yet so alien to our modern eyes. As we move further along our timeline, we reach the Cambrian period, a time of incredible evolutionary experimentation and diversification. It was during this time that a dramatic event known as the Cambrian Explosion took place, a period of rapid evolutionary change that saw the emergence of a vast array of new and complex life forms. And at the top of the food chain in this ancient world was Anomalocaris, the largest predator of its time. This remarkable creature, which could grow up to three feet long, possessed a fearsome array of features, including two stalked eyes that provided a wide field of vision, a circular mouth filled with sharp plates that could crush shells, and two large spiny appendages that it likely used to grab and hold its prey. Another bizarre creature from the Cambrian seas was Opabinia, a creature so strange that when it was first discovered, scientists struggled to determine which way up it went. This soft-bodied animal, measuring just a few inches long, possessed five stalked eyes that protruded from its head, providing a 360-degree view of its surroundings. But perhaps the most striking feature of Opabinia was its long, flexible proboscis, which ended in a claw-like structure. It's thought that Opabinia used this proboscis to search for food on the seafloor, perhaps using the claw to grasp small creatures or sift through sediment. Imagine a creature that looks like it's been pieced together from the spare parts of other animals. That's Hallucigenia. This worm-like animal, which lived on the seabed during the Cambrian period, possessed a row of rigid spines along its back and seven pairs of tentacle-like legs, each ending in a claw. Its head was small and rounded and lacked any obvious eyes or mouth. Scientists initially reconstructed Hallucigenia upside down, mistaking its spines for legs and its legs for tentacles. A no journey through the prehistoric seas would be complete without encountering the trilobites, a hugely successful group of marine arthropods that thrived for over 270 million years. These ancient relatives of crabs and lobsters were characterized by their hard exoskeletons which were divided into three lobes, a central lobe and a lobe on either side. Trilobites came in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, from tiny millimeter-long species to giants that could grow to over two feet in length. Some trilobites were predators, while others were scavengers or filter feeders. In the Burgess Shale, a fossil-rich deposit in the Canadian Rockies, paleontologists unearthed a remarkable creature called Picaya. This small, fish-shaped animal, measuring just a couple of inches long, may not look like much, but it holds a special place in the history of life on Earth. Picaya is considered to be one of the earliest known chordates, a group of animals that includes all vertebrates, including ourselves. Picaya possessed a flexible rod called a notochord that ran along its back, providing support and allowing for efficient swimming. Our final stop on this journey through the prehistoric seas takes us back to the Cambrian period where we encounter another enigmatic creature, Wiwaxia. This small, oval-shaped animal, measuring just a couple of inches long, was covered in an array of scales, spines and plates. It possessed two rows of long, curved spines that projected upwards from its back, likely serving as a deterrent to predators. Waywaxia's exact place in the Tree of Life is still debated, but its unique combination of features makes it a fascinating example of the evolutionary experimentation that was taking place during this time of rapid diversification. 
Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through time. We've only just scratched the surface of the amazing creatures that inhabited our planet long before the dinosaurs. Their fossils provide a window into a time when life on Earth was experimenting and evolving at an astonishing rate. These ancient creatures remind us of the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet and the profound connections that unite all living things. Which prehistoric creature fascinated you the most? Tag a friend who loves ancient history, like the video, and join Extinct Empire now for more incredible discoveries.